everyone, it's Tina and I'm back with another episode of Dollar Tree Gourmet. That's right, Dollar Tree Gourmet, where we make gourmet recipes out of ingredients that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Tonight's recipe is going to be a shrimp topped flounder filet. So amazing guys, this is going to be a creamy, delicious baked flounder with a shrimp topping that you are just not going to believe came from the Dollar Tree. Here's what we're going to need for this recipe. I picked up two of these Ocean Market Flounder Filets at the Dollar Tree. They each weigh four ounces and they are wild caught flounder. Next ingredient that I have are these little salad shrimp. This is a three and a half ounce bag. The next ingredient that you're gonna need are these Monet um, vegetable gourmet crackers. Now if you don't have these or if you can't find them, that's no problem at all. Feel free to substitute grits or anything like that. This is what the Dollar Tree offers, so this is what I picked up. The next thing you're gonna need is some mayo. Um, I picked up this small jar at the Dollar Tree. If you can't find this particular brand, that's no problem at all. Just use whatever mayo you like or whatever you have on hand. Next, I have some Parmesan cheese topping here and some true lemon flavoring. Finally, you just need some salt. That's all you're gonna need, guys. This is gonna be such an amazing dinner. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Let's get started. The very first thing I did was thaw all of my seafood. I thawed my flounder and my shrimp overnight in the fridge. Now, if you don't have time to do that, you can do that um, by running it under cool running water for about an hour or so, I would say. Um, these fat flounder fillets actually surprised me because they actually came two to a pack for a dollar, guys. And um, this is what they look like once you take them out. So basically what I'm gonna do is just put my flounder fillets in this baking pan here, and I'm gonna season them very lightly with just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, now we've got our flounder all seasoned up. By the way, I think I forgot to mention, preheat your oven to about 350 degrees. We're gonna be baking all of this in the oven after it's all put together. So as you can see, my shrimp are in a bowl, and to that, we're gonna be adding the rest of our ingredients. I have here my mayo. This is the Just Mayo that I found at the Dollar Tree. This stuff is so amazing, guys. It's super duper good for you, and it's really, really delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons full to the shrimp that I have here that's already thawed. Once you've got your mayo added to the shrimp, we're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of true lemon. Now, one of these packets, they say equals one wedge of lemon, which I think is a really good amount. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add all of that packet, one packet, to the shrimp. Next, we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to the shrimp as well. Okay, next you're gonna to wanna to add about a tablespoon of this Parmesan cheese topping. Final ingredient for our topping mixture is going to be about four of these uh, gourmet veg vegetable flavored entertainment crackers. Again, guys, if you can't find these, feel free to use Ritz or whatever kind of crackers you want. But this is a very important ingredient because it's going to act as a binder. So basically what I'm going to do, since there's only four of them here, I'm going to crush these in my hands really, really fine, as fine as I can get them, and I'm going to mix it all together, put it on top, and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, guys, as you can see, we've got our flounder fillets ready to go in this pan here. I have my beautiful shrimp topping with the mayo, lemon, salt, pepper, a little bit of vegetable flavored cracker mixture. Oh my gosh, it's so good, guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take this mixture and just spread it evenly over the top of our flounder. Okay, so now everything's all put together. We've got our shrimp topping on top of our flounder. I'll try to show you how it looks right here. This is gonna, oh, this already smells like so amazing. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm gonna stick this in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. I will pull it out and show you how it looks. Well, all right guys, there you have it. This is our shrimp topped flounder. It is so good. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell it in here right now. It smells amazing. So let me just show you what we've got here. This is our flounder filet that we've topped with the shrimp breading topping, and it is so, so, so good. Oh, guys. Mm. The flounder, because we baked it, is so, so good. It's really buttery and flaky, and the shrimp on top just adds that like nice, like, mm, who doesn't love shrimp, right? Combined with the mayo and the breadcrumbs and everything that kind of held it together, you guys, this is such a good recipe. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you do like my videos, please do subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.